What is it about the river and its harsh conditions that feels so much like home? We grew up in a world where our life had a lot of broken pieces. Our family fell apart when we were kids. To escape the tension at home, my brothers and I used to sneak out of the house, down the hill to White Hollow Creek. We would play for hours chasing minnows into our five-gallon buckets. The water's edge was the one place that was safe. No yelling, no alcohol, and no broken promises. Just the three of us fishing. Ever since then, we've continued fishing together. From creeks to rivers, it's the one place we've come back to that's constant. The pursuit of steelhead has been a life source for us. There's something indescribable about standing in the river with someone you love, seeking the same thing. When I step into the river, the weight of the current embraces me, welcoming me home. I'm finally back in the waters I've longed to fish. I just lose myself in that moment. Your focus on the river, the conditions, your fly, the presentation, all the other problems of life become insignificant to the pursuit. You're hungry, you're tired, you're running on four or five hours of sleep. You're trying to stay in the game because you know that it could happen at any time. Steelheading is a test of faith. Winter steelhead will push you to the point again and again and again that you want to quit, you want to give up. When you give up, you miss out. That's the moral of the story with steelhead fishing. In life, when you quit, you miss out. I am never gonna just give up until there's no light left in the day. I'm gonna keep going. If we could somehow compare our lives to this creature that lives below the surface, our common bond would be adversity. We're constantly navigating challenges, overcoming obstacles, and surviving. In spite of all of this, don't give up hope, because you never know. I feel so privileged to have brothers that I'm so connected to and that we share the same passion for a sport and for one another. The gift this fish has given us is our connection together and our connection to what is wild. We just love to be together and we love to swing flies for a steelhead. Those are the most priceless times in my life. I wonder if we would have been this good of friends if everything hadn't happened the way that it did. Would we drive hundreds of miles at ridiculous hours to stand knee deep in waters together? Have the struggles from our past forged the friendship of our future. I don't have a distant relationship with my brothers. I have a relationship that's bonded by our difficulties. And we will always be on the river together. <laughs>